Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So there's nothing better than doing a video on Linux operating system. And today I'll be covering two commands, cut and awk, mostly used in shell scripting and writing one line of script. You'll use them a lot. I, I mean, I use them a lot when writing one line of script. So before I start, let me just do man cut. And you can see what cut does is basically remove section of each line of files, right? It basically works with files and you can do it by Mm, bytes, characters, delimiters, and fields. Uh, let's exit out. And the best example to take uh, to work with cut or for to show example is basically use etsy pass wd file, right? So let's see cut. So we are going to use hyphen C by character. And suppose I want the first character of slash etsy pass wd file. And you can see I'm getting the first character of past uh, etc passwd file. Not very useful, right? So how about if I do something like, <clears throat> if we can do something like a range of characters, right? So suppose I want first to say fourth character, right? Still a little useful. And you can also do this command by just doing this. You can remove one and you can just do hyphen four and you get the same result. And if you want a subsection, say I want from say fourth character to the end of line, right? So we can do something like this. Or if we can do something like this as well, like from fourth character to say 10th character, right? This is also a possibility you can do. But obviously this is not very useful. The usefulness would come if we can just cut these lines using some delimiter, right? So that's where uh, cut hyphen D is used. So you can do cut hyphen D. And before that, if we just cat out etsy passwd file, so you can see all the fields are separated by a colon, right? So we are going to use that as our delimiter. So cut hyphen D uh, colon and Suppose I want the first field, right? Let's see, past WD. So now I'm getting the first field, which is basically username. Okay, get rid of this. Come on, yeah. Yeah, basically username. Let me, we can do second field as well. Nothing much there. You can also do something like says first and maybe fourth field. But you see the delimiter is still the colon, right? So it's not like you have got a UUID and suppose you want a space or a comma, right? It's, it's not giving you the output in that format. It is still using the colon as delimiter. So I think we have a switch so let me just do man cut. I'll take help of man. Come down. Yeah, so there is this output delimiter. So we'll just exit out and we'll go back to our old command. And just before this, we'll put output delimiter is equal to say, I want comma. Now let's put in quotes. Yeah, this is better. Now you can see we are getting comma as our delimiter, right? So you can choose a delimiter of your choice. All right, so cut is useful, but when it comes to awk, so awk in itself is a programming language, right? So if you do man awk, it says gawk because it's a GNU version of awk. That's why it is saying gawk, but it is awk. So you can see GNU, gawk is basically a GNU project implementation of awk programming language. So awk in itself is a programming language but I mostly use it to write one line of script and that's what I'm going to show you. <coughs> Again, working with uh, etsy passwd file. So I can do awk and then there is a syntax like this basically where you do something like print dollar uh, one and you have etsy passwd. So dollar one is basically the whole line in the file, right? Because we didn't mention any delimiter, it is printing 
taller one as the whole line but let me just clear the screen and if i just do arc hyphen f and then i give it the delimiter on which i want to basically break this file or break each line in the file so now it gives me the username right and let me clear this. yeah one problem with cut is basically yeah when we were printing multiple uh, fields right so even if i do something like four and one it is not actually it is just maintaining the order in which they occur right it is not switching the order but the good thing with awk is so if i do something like print dollar four comma dollar one you can see you can actually play with the order of the uh, components or the elements in the uh, line in the file right so it basically uh, reverses or manages the order itself so that's awk <coughs> what else can we do with awk yeah so awk actually has some inbuilt uh, variables so one variable which i mostly use is so let me for that let me do one thing let me clear the screen what i'm going to do is i'm going to echo uh let's do c1 c2 c3 to file one right now let's echo c4 c5 c6 and c7 and one more entry we'll just do c9 and c8 all right so let's get out file one so we have different columns in each line right so you can see the first line has three columns second has four and the last line has only has two so sometimes you probably need to work with a specific column say suppose i just want to use the last column in each or just want to get the last column in each line, right but with cut you cannot do that because cut works i mean you can do but you'll actually have to do a hacky way uh, to basically work with cut but with awk it is actually you can directly access the last column with a variable which is nf so i can do something like awk i don't need to give a field delimiter and delimiter uh, awk then i can just do mm, print uh, dollar nf and file one so this basically prints out the last column of each file right and you can also do some mathematics say suppose i want the second to last column so i can do something like nf minus one and now i am doing or basically working with the second column in each line now there is one more thing very interesting with uh, arc is that you can actually print whatever you want so where well, we did we do that yeah so i can do something like call one colon and call two colon now if i do this so you can see i can insert text basically so call one is this call two is this right so i can actually insert text whatever text i want with awk all right so that's i think pretty much it uh, you it's basically awk and cut they i mean especially awk is i mean in itself is a programming language so it's very deep it cannot be covered in one video i mean i just showed you whatever stuff i use when working with one line scripts and a small shell script right but it is very in depth you can write your own shells your own script in awk you don't actually have to use any shell commands basically uh, awk in itself is a programming language so yeah you can do that but that is basically a whole uh, series of video it's going to take 
so i'll not go into the details you can probably just go ahead and uh, explore awk but this was me covering cut and awk i'm doing a linux video after a very long time so it was fun doing it i hope you guys like this video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching